Hey you, it's me, Paston. We are playing some, uh, whatever you call this. It's called Link's Awakening. It's called DX. It's called The Legend of Zelda. It's called a lot of things, and I'd appreciate you not to bump into trees while I'm trying to talk to you, for they are filled with secret seashells, and we find them, and it, something's bound to happen once we find them. It's, it's totally gnarly and bodacious and tubular as well. So let's go in this little alcove where we may find some stuff to do, like grabbing a... Ah, come on, this is supposed to open. ta -da! We got 50 rupees, very nice. Splendid, wonderful, everything that has ever been good about life is found in money. Be sure to get money instead of friends whenever you have the chance, because everyone knows that friends do not make you happy, only cash money millionaire. So let's go around here. We have a bombable type place here. I don't think you can smash it with your with your runningness, even though it is the style of a whoa. It's the style of a woe. If you ever see a woe, it'll probably have this kind of running about a woe. So the spark there, it's not a uh, bubble. You don't want to call it a bubble or I'll make it very angry and you wouldn't like it when it's angry. So let's go destroy this. Uh, grab some more roots. As they're called, very nice, sweet, beautiful, wonderful. And you think that's all there is to do here, but a quick uh, tap on the wall shows that you should bomb here. Because it would be natural to explore here, where there is no sign of anything strange. But we get a piece of heart. It's bodacious taco-tastic. Okay, so we run around here real quick and not get hit by this part. We are in safekeeping. And we can smash into more green things, as is our want. So let's, now that we're done with that, we can lure dudes out of their caves so that we may welcome them into our ice cream van. And we see this dude. Let's try to knock this down. Oh, you cannot. It is impossible. Let's talk to this drunk guy. Oh, peace to the sea. Have a nice sick. Yeah, I brought it for a second. Can. I gave him a can instead of a stick, actually, and then he's gonna just do this business, which is, you know, spectacular. Wow, and he runs right through me, somehow, or under me, as you soon see. But that leaves us with this honeycomb in our trading quest, and why stick became honeycomb circle. I'm not sure how it happened, but take it! So, uh, let's bomb this place, too. Maybe get another, another little treat. Treat a Reno. Humperdino. So we got a lady healing our wounds and getting rid of all that stress. Just close your eyes and relax. Just relax. It's not gonna hurt a bit. So it doesn't hurt at all because it's a fairy. So we gotta go back to uh, Mr. 115's favorite uh, cave again. Or near there. At least, wowzers. You wish you could get me Mr. Dude in a hole. But you are in a hole and I am in the world. And that's the breaks run into every single tree possible while we're at it. We got a fairy coming out of here, coming out of every ear that we have in our head. Nineteen of them together, if you count the ones in your lip. <laughs> Destroy some bushes, what not, by throwing that thing at it! Okay, so we gotta head on down this way to Taco City, where the taco resides, among all others. King of the, the Mexican treats. Uh, by the way, just on a side note, slightly related, uh, be sure to uh, try a pastelita if, you ever, if you've never had one. A pastelita. For they are delicious. Especially at uh, places that I've been to. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can do this, and then we can also put our boots back on. You think you just leave the boots on, because, uh, you know, why take off boots and then put them back on to do whatever? We got another seashell. That's what happens when you're, when you're shelling cheese or whatever. Uh, we'll do this short little trip around where we can visit our friend Octorok over here. Hi, nice to kill you. And uh, that's all we needed in there. That's all we needed to do. And uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty sleepy today, so uh, I believe it is now time. Whoa, Mr. Bow Wow, if that is your true moniker, I will bypass this lady and go up to this house where I believe I'll be able to take a rest. Take a load off. Let my dogs out and start their barking or whatever. Hey look, a bed in the house. Let's just go lie in it for no reason. Because, you know, 
I've been in this village for whatever, half a day, and it's probably the best time to... to oh, you can't kill these guys. Best time to lie in a bed of my own making. So you gotta jump over them. Uh, sometimes you can collect them into a little group as such. To collect... Wowzers! To collect them in that sort of fashion so that you may jump over them more freely and with less hindrance as demonstrated here in the instructional video. Now we got a... Uh, I can probably just uh, keep jumping over them like that. It is very easy to do and not requiring much brain use power at all. So let's go get this amazing 100 rupees which makes us happy because the only true happiness as said before is a uh, baked beans which is viable with rupees in many countries near you. We also get an ocarina, or the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. What are you, my mom? Take up the piano, kid! It'll be good! No, but actually, she doesn't talk like that. She, uh, has no mouth. But, uh, let's, uh, put this ocarina, or ocarina... How do you pronounce it? I like to say ocarina. So let's put it to the test with, uh, Maron. Hey, that's a nice... question mark carina there you got there. Will you accompany me as I sing? So let's uh, just enjoy these dulcet tones for a while. So I guess that turned into a let's listen for a little bit instead of a let's beat, so how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Whoa. Got a kind of a conceited air about her. Does it stick in your mind? Yes, no. Let's just say yes, because uh, even though we've only heard it once and it has no repetition, if you say no, she'll play it again. You learn the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart and in my mouth, apparently. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Okay. Good advice for no one in particular. So let's, uh, now that we've done that, let's, uh, take a trip down memory lane, aka this place over here, wherever we are. So let's go this way so that we may return to an unknown place that we haven't been to before. This is turning out to be a great sentence. I love that sentence, and I will cherish it always. Please, someone write it down so that I will never forget it. we got a big old trip ahead of us. We are running around in a, a path that we have come to know and love. We will love and know it again sometime soon, once our pants have been returned from the dryer. Okay, so let me know. Da -da -da -da. And don't bother making words anymore. Just run into an Octorok while he's flying around. Not even flying low. Clearly, you cannot, uh destroy those because they're completely solid. We can, oh, look at that. Successfully evaded. We want to go this way to uh, Animal Village is that way, but luckily we have a secret passage. Secret passage over here where we can, wah! <laughs> we gotta not run into that. Hey, what the hell booger town. Alright, so, oh, what a weird object. Yes, it's very awesome. We want to just read that or whatever. Okay, it's so over here. So let's go to Animal's Village. Animal Town, USA, Funsville. We got that bush there. Got these bushes here. I hate bushes! They must all be chopped. So, hey, dude, you know, we got a bird here. Sigh, what, such a mice day. We need the song from Marin. So, uh, we got this town here, and there's all these pots and stuff. There's lovely ad adobe here. Adobe abode. Say it nine times fast, and then mail me a taco. Okay, so we gotta evade the rabbits and approach the bear. Hi-ho! Apparently he's one of the seven dwarfs. Largy. Hey you, is that possibly a circle you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Hells yes, man. What a pineapple. You exchange circle for noob. It's not as sweet, but it is delicious. Nice. Hi-ho, yeah, I know that tub of goo- what? Tub of goo. Oh yeah, there's a walrus down there. He's asleep. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up. 
with her song. That slob would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing for sure. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go all the way back to, uh, what the hell is a place? Uh, I believe it is called Mabe Village. Maybe it's called that, I don't remember. So let's go backward to. Oh, wait. Before we can do. Before we do that, let's go. Whoa! Hey, Mr. Dude, let's uh, avoid these dudes in rocks and avoid this person that. Wow! Blarg. This as well, and we can go up to this little. Oops! We gotta go this way. We gotta go talk to a bird about a, a guy. Secrets are like water when it comes to bridges. What? They're under bridges, so uh, let's uh, lure these fireballs out of the way and then uncover the secret seashell, which is bound to happen eventually. Okay, so we got that, and then we'll head back to the village tomorrow, so goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.